storm is causing all kinds of problems from downed trees to flooded streets. And if you're driving in the rain, it doesn't get much worse than this. Cars completely submerged underwater. The water sweeping away several vehicles. And Eyewitness News reporter Chris John Cordero is live in Long Beach, where this downpour turned into a real downer for some several drivers, actually. Chris Yon? Yeah, Alan, especially the two who were behind the wheel when this happened. We're near the Terminal Island Freeway here on Long Beach's west side. And you can see that the crews are trying to get those two cars out within the past hour or so. We actually saw them pull a third car out and we're told that a fourth car was taken out of this water earlier this morning. But this has also affected drivers in the area, this industrial part of West Long Beach. Even just to get to where those crews are on the other side of this is about a 15 minute detour. And that has been much of the story throughout Long Beach for the day. A morning full of rain has led to an afternoon of cleanup in Long Beach. Mere inches of water made the difference between cars damaged or spared while parked along streets in Belmont Shore or driving through the nearby Redondo and Broadway intersection. Only semi-trucks could confidently move along the 710 freeway where flood water covered the pavement in both directions near Pacific Coast Highway. Air 7 HD shows the traffic delays it caused for drivers. On the west side of Long Beach. We fly around and we saw a lot of this, but this is the worst of it. We drivers on Sepulveda trying to cross under a bridge couldn't. Instead, four unlucky vehicles were swept up. Experts say it takes just 12 inches of water to float most cars and small SUVs. We spoke with a woman who was in one of those cars. I have a feeling that I like got stuck in a pothole because I kept, like I pressed on the gas, but like my tire was moving and then it, I wasn't moving. So I was like, I think I got stuck and then I couldn't do anything, everything. The water comes in fast. So at that point, you can't really act on anything. She says she climbed out through a window. Crews have spent the time since pumping water to eventually help tow the vehicles away. And you can see the crews pumping that water right now to try to get to these last two vehicles that is still submerged. I would guess within the past hour or so that the water has receded a good uh, foot at least. So in due time, they should certainly uh, get to these last two cars. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.